Okay, passive filter example, and this is a filter, uh, passive filter. We have L, we have R1, we have R2, and here we have V out and V in, and we want to find the transfer function and cutoff frequency of this circuit. So, uh, first of all, we need to find ZL, which is JL omega, and we write the voltage division to for VO. So, VO is equal to R2 over R1 plus ZL, which is JL omega, okay, VI. As a result, K which is the voltage gain is equal to R2 over oh we missed the R2 here as well R2 plus R uh, R2 over R1 plus R2 plus JL omega okay now that we got to this point, we should try to have somehow to have one at the numerator and the real part of the denominator. Okay, so we are supposed to uh, like uh, get the factors of this denominator and numerator in a way that we have one for numerator and the real part of denominator. So we say k is equal to, so we factor out R2 and from denominator we factor out R1 plus R2. So this one times 1 over 1 plus JL omega over R1 plus R2. So this one is the, like uh, the point. We got rid of those values in uh, numerator and uh, real part of denominator. So anytime you have a problem like this, you are supposed to solve, try to convert your numerator and denominator real part to one. It's very important step, okay? Now that the rich, go ahead. So why did you put the R1 plus R2 over the, um, over the um, JW, uh, JLW? Because if I multiply this one with this so this one, I get this one. Okay. Yeah, just so like, it I, it out. I okay. factor out. I factor out factor. R1 plus R2. If, you do, I, if I multiply these two, it's equal to this value. Okay? Okay. Because I did it. I did it. Why I did this? Because I wanted to have one here. It was the goal. Okay? okay. It was the goal. So I... Factor out, uh, I factor out uh, this part, so and I convert it to one. Is it clear now? Yes. Okay. So this step is very important. I forgot to do. Uh, like if you forgot to do it, like the answer is not correct. So uh, the K is like this, and uh, this is transfer function. Transfer function and if we want to find the transfer function magnitude and after that we find the like the cutoff frequency we say absolute value of k is equal to absolute value of numerator is one and the magnitude of denominator because denominator is a complex number we need to like uh, use this rule. We know that x plus jy, the magnitude is equal to square root of x square plus y square. Okay, so we need to use this one to find the magnitude. So we say square root of 1 square plus L omega R1 plus R2 square. Okay? So times times R1 over R1 plus R2. Okay, so this is the this is the like the magnitude. 
and let's find the gain at omega equal to zero at omega is equal to zero k is equal to so this part is zero so the gain will be r1 over r1 plus r2 this is the like for omega zero for omega infinity k is equal to if we re replace omega with infinity 1 over infinity is equal to 0. So the gain is equal to 0. For cutoff frequency, for cutoff frequency, gain should be equal to 1 over square root of the maximum value. The maximum value. So 1 over square root of R1 over R1 plus R2. So it's very important. So the cutoff frequency happens at the frequency in which the, mag the gain is 1 over square root 2 of maximum gain. Okay, so it's not correct if we say gain is 1 over square root of 2 for cutoff frequency. In cutoff frequency, the gain is 1 over the square root of 2 times the maximum gain. Okay, so if we compare, if we compare this one with this one, okay, this one with this one, let's find the common terms. We have R1 over R1 plus R2, so it's the same. In the denominator, we, in the numerator, numerator we have 1, 1. And so in denominator, we should have a square root of 2. So a square root of 2. So I say uh, 1 plus L omega over R1 plus R2. Should be equal to 2. Okay, because we want to have a square root of 2. So L omega over r1 plus r2 r2 should be equal to 1 so omega c okay it's not omega omega c so omega c will be equal to r1 plus r2 over l so this one is the cutoff frequency of our circuit uh, so if we replace the values from our uh, previous example, uh, we knew that we know that R1 and R2 each are 100 ohms, so 100 plus 100, and L was 100 milli, so 100 times 10 to the negative 3, so it will be equal to 2000. Okay. So this is the cutoff frequency. Any question? Okay. Now let's uh, solve one active filter example active filter okay so this one was passive and now we are going to solve active so we say example part a show that V O over V S is equal to R one plus R two over R one times J omega plus one over R one plus R two times C over j omega plus 1 over r1c. So 
So we want to show that in the following circuit, the transfer voltage function is this and part B find VO over VS if omega is equal to zero and omega is equal to infinity. Okay, so this is the problem and the circuit is here. Okay, this is the circuit. We have R2, R1, and we have 1 over J omega. J omega C. I hope that we didn't have exactly the same circuit in our uh, previous lecture. Let me double check. Let me make sure that I will double check it later, so just let's continue to solve this one. Okay, so in order to solve this uh, circuit, uh, it has op amp, so we need to uh, we need to solve it with the rules which applies to op amp, like equal negative inverting and non-inverting uh, current and the, like the fact that the voltage of um, the current is zero for inverting and non-inverting input and the voltage are same so the voltage at uh, the voltage at vp is equal to vs so vn also is equal to vs okay so is the first part and then we start writing the KCL for this point so we write KCL for this point so we say VN instead of VN we say VS okay because VN is equal to VS so VS over R1 plus 1 over j omega c plus vs minus vo over r2 is equal to 0. Any question? Then we multiply everything by r1 plus 1 over j omega c so we multiply everything by r1 over r1 plus 1 over j omega c so the first term will be vs and the second one will be I'm trying to make it simplified. So, uh, Vs plus minus V O R two times R one plus one over J omega C it's equal to we 
if we fight the rock, or we will have R2 times Vs. I'm, after simplification, we will have Vs minus Vo times R1 plus 1 over J omega C. After simplification, we will have this value. And now let's just multiply everything by uh, J omega C. If we do this multiplication, we will have J omega R1 C plus J omega R2C plus 1 times Vs minus J omega R1C plus 1 times Vo is equal to 0. And if we like move this part to the right side of the equal sign, we can say VO over VS is equal to J omega We factor out of J omega so we will have R1 plus R2C R1 plus R2 times C plus 1 over The denominator is same, J omega R1C plus 1 uh, times, oh, it's equal to, it's equal to, it's equal to, let's factor out R1 plus R2 from numerator and R1 from denominator. So I factor out R1 plus R2 from numerator and R1 from denominator. So we will have J omega C plus 1 over R1 plus R2. And in denominator, we will have J omega C plus 1 over R1. What I'm doing, I'm trying to reach to uh, this form. I'm trying to reach to this form. So it's the reason why I like factor out from this part and this part and try to keep like in this form because the goal is reaching to this format of the output. Okay, so what else we can do? We can just divide because if we compare it here the C is in denominator so but here we have C in numerator for both part so we divide everything by C so we say VO over VS is equal to R1 plus R2 over R1 times we divide everything by C in this part, in this uh, term, so it's J omega plus 1 over uh, R1 plus R2C. In the denominator, we will have omega C plus 1 over R1C. And if we look to this function, we see that it's exactly same as what was asked in the problem. Any question? Okay. So we got uh, R one and we got the gain, and the next part we are going to find the we are going to find the 
gain at omega zero and omega infinity. Okay, so for omega zero, if omega is zero, we know that V O over V S will be equal to R one plus R two R one times zero plus one over R one plus R two times C over one over R one C. If we simplify it, uh, it is equal to R1 plus R2 over R1. So the maximum voltage, the maximum gain is at omega zero. At omega infinity, because these two terms are infinity, so we like ignore these two parts, so we will have Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, ma I made a mistake, I made a mistake, let me, let me fix it. Here, if we multiply these two together, if we multiply these two together, this one will be cancelled with this one, this one will be cancelled with this one, and we will have 1 over C over 1 over C, which is equal to 1. Yeah, yeah, this one is correct. 1 over C uh, over 1 over C, which is equal to 1. So for infinity, for infinity, so I said that this one and this one tend to be infinite. So this term will be equal to 1. And so the gain is R1 uh, plus R2 over R1. For this example, we are not going to find the cutoff frequency. It's difficult, uh, like it's po it's possible, but we need to multiply everything by like uh, by uh, this term, and it's lots of calculations. So we're not going to do that. Okay, so we just found the output for uh, omega equal to zero and infinity. Any question? Uh, now uh, let's say for the same uh, for for this circuit in the next example let's say we have this circuit here Okay, the problem says part A, if Vs is equal to Vs of t is equal to 2 cosine of 2128 t of t volt what is v o of t is the first part 
and the second part says at what frequency at what frequency V O over V S is equal to one or one half. Okay, so this is two parts of the question that we are going to solve. Okay, let's see what we have. <coughs> the first thing, uh, We need to find the impedance of the capacitor. The impedance of the capacitor. So, Zc Z of C is equal to 1 over J Omega. What's the Omega? Omega is 21.28. This is the omega. 1 over 21, 28 times C, which is 4700 pico, times 10 to the negative 15. So this is the uh, Susanda, can you calculate it for me? 1 over 2128 over 4700 over 10 to the power of negative 15. I can't hear you. Um, it's like uh, 9.9 uh, 9 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay. Because in my uh, like uh, man like it's here I see it says ten one hundred K but it doesn't seems correct. Let me calculate it again. Just give me a second. Yeah, it gives uh, like this answer. What did you say? What did you say, Susanta? Oh no, I like um I said it um like I did it again and it get it gave me the same kind of answer. What is your answer? Um yeah, if you round it up it's like hundred thousand but it's hundred thousand. No no like I mean um it's like nine 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 eight four zero zero two. I know, so if you round it it will be one thousand one hundred K or it will be different value. It's gonna be more than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, like ninety nine million nine ninety nine times ten to the power of six. Okay, so uh, 
I believe that here uh, in the problem there is a mm, like uh, issue. So okay, so let's just uh, do one thing. Um, let's uh, do one thing. Uh, let's change the value of the mm, value of the resistor. So uh, if we say uh, one over 2128 is equal to this value over 4700 is equal to this value uh, times 10 to the power of 15 is equal to this value Why I cannot calculate it? Two thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. Seven zeros. So it's eight zeros. Eight zeros. Yeah, so the eight zeros. So the eight. Okay, so I believe we should go with a uh, nano forward. It should be nano forward not uh, pico forward okay so if it's nano forward so i believe it should be correct now so can you calculate it again with this value oh 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 oh, oh, oh. i'm sorry i made a big mistake pico is 10 to the negative 12 not 15. oh it was correct it was my bad so it that's correct so pico is 10 to the negative 15 I um, wrote it negative uh, negative 12, I wrote it negative 15. Okay, so it's correct. So, this is negative J uh, 100K, okay, and now we uh, need to find the output. If we look to this uh, circuit, it's the inverting amplifier, inverting amplifier, and VO is equal to negative z2 over z1 vs okay so it's the z1 uh, vs it's the negative amplifier if we write the uh, kcl so we can uh, we can say <coughs> vo is equal to negative z2 over z1 z2 is in fact the same as uh, 100k times vs it's equal to negative 100k over 100k minus j 100k times vs Vs in uh, Vs is uh, this value, but if we convert it to phasor, uh, in the phasor it's equal to two with the angle of zero, two with the angle of zero. So it is two with the angle of zero, and if we do this multiplication, we will have uh, Vo is equal to. 1.414 with the angle of negative 135 so this is the VO and if we convert it back to time domain it will be 14414 cosine of frequency was 2128T minus the phase which is 135 Okay, so this one is uh, like the solution, and uh, the next thing is regarding the second part, which says at uh, which frequency the gain is equal to one over two. So part B, we want to find the frequency in which V O over V S is equal to one half. And based on the transfer function, we know that the gain is absolute value of 
r over the magnitude of all plus 1 over j omega c which is equal to which is equal to we want to convert this part to 1 so we multiply everything by j omega c so it's absolute value of r j omega r c over j omega r c plus 1 and the magnitude in fact is because the numerator only has a complex, uh, uh, complex part, the magnitude of the denominator uh, will be equal to the square root of, not the square root, omega rc. And for denominator, we will have 1 plus omega rc squared. This one should be equal to one half. In order to get rid of this square root, we multiply we like a square both sides. So we square left side and right side. So we will have omega R C square over one plus omega R C square is equal to one fourth. Okay? Any question? And then we simplify this function, so we will have 1 plus omega rc squared is equal to 4 times omega rc squared. So as a result, omega rc squared is equal to 1 third. And we can say omega is equal to 1 over the square root of 3 times rc. We have the values for r and c. If we substitute these two values, the omega will be 1.22 AD4 kilo radian per second. Okay, so that's like uh, the solution of the second part. And uh, I will I give you two two more assignments tomorrow with the new lectures and uh, as I mentioned the quiz is on the next on uh, um, April 13th. Any question? Okay, we done for today. And.